Yesterday I was nailing like all these double jump owlets, and now today I like can't do it. Um, great question, man. Um, I have lost track of time. Uh, I can go back and look at some videos. I mean, at least a few months, at the bare minimum. But I was like practicing tricks and stuff before I even started actually doing runs. Uh, I'm like just not focused. Uh, let's see, let's pull up my videos here. Oh, hang on, the window. So around March is when I started speedrunning Mario. April, May, June, July, August, five months off and on. Wow, it really feels like I've been doing this a lot longer. Yeah, it, it all started with me trying to like learn a couple tricks. I was like, oh man, bomb clip, that looks crazy. I was like, I wonder if I can do that. And I like tried it and I could, I, I did it. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can do cannonless. And then like I learned that and I was like, huh, I can probably speed run this game. And then I learned like triple jump Alice. And over time I like learned like stuff here and there to try to like lower my time um, I still can't do lobby backwards long jump I don't know what it is I just can't do it you skip dark world reds I hear that a lot um, you know I went to like the uh, a couple different Super Mario speedrun like uh, discords and like ask people what they think I should do to help save time and they were like learn Dark World Reds because it's not only is it gonna help you uh, skip a star it's gonna help you learn better movement that's crazy I mean I'm not gonna tell you that that you shouldn't but that's just what I was told. And I know that it's insane that I do uh, Owlis because it's like it doesn't save all that much time. But it saves a lot more time on console than it does on emulator and I'm I am running on console, so See how these last two Womp Stars go. Oh no. 
He made a grave mistake. Yeah, it does. I definitely really screwed up in bits. I like died on the third throw and had to like do it all over again. I, yeah, I was close to hitting like sub 19 if I had done it perfectly. I guess I really just like buckled down and learned a bunch of hard stuff. And then like, it's just taken a while to like get it all down. But now it's like starting to pay off. That's kind of what it feels like for me, at least. Pretty proud of like being able to get out of Womps in less than five minutes. That's pretty new for me. As of like last night, I mean. <laughs> Here we go. This will be a pretty good run if I don't die in Dark World. Now, even if I die, I don't think I would. If I enter Dark World before 8 minutes, I'm pretty good. Oh gosh. Sloppy. Did I miss it? Oh shit. I'm still on like a really good pace. No deaths. So I'll take it even with the the Bowser throw, it's only 15 seconds, so that's nothing compared to how much time I have to get sub 20.
my triple jump oh no crazy <laughs> what <laughs> how much time did I lose there that was like probably another 15 seconds I've got so much time though it's totally fine I'm used to starting this level at about the 10 minute mark, so... Splitter doesn't work in SSL half the time. I don't know what's wrong with it. We're totally fine. There's one hard star I do in here. Nice, we didn't backflip. Okay. I'm gonna try the hard one first. This one I'm never sure if I'm gonna ever like get it, but it saves so much time. That's fine, I'll count it. All right, rolling rocks is easy. We pray for the good RNG here. Oh, it's bad RNG. Oh, I dodged it. Swim Mario, come on. What's going on? Obviously, I'm not pressing the A button right, but it's okay. Oh no, I keep doing that. Oh my god, the lag. Ah, oh, the 
that kills me there. Alright, that was pretty rough, but... Let's nail fire, see. Okay, minor mistake there. It's okay, we made it to the pole. Not going as fast as I want to, but honestly, I'm not going to make the other cycle, so this is totally fine. Don't get hit by that fire. Oh god, okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> it was pretty scuffed. Let me not die to Bowser. The easiest Bowser. Alright, good throw. Alright, I just need to not freak out. I just need to pretend that this is like a normal run and that I've already screwed up and I'm not going to PB and it doesn't matter. And then I'll do just fine. Because when the throws don't matter... not even like getting it going. I'm gonna try a trick here. There we go. Oh, come on, go up there. Please, please. Uh. Come on! That was it. Oh, this is bogus. Mario. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Whatever. I just gotta nail this. Okay, moment of truth. <sighs> Just gotta pretend like it's a normal run, guys. It's normal. It's regular. Is there's nothing special about it?
Oh shit, no! Regular run. Nothing special about this one. Nothing at all. Oh my god, yes! Shit, yes! Hell yeah. Oh ho! Ah. I feel like I can take a break from Mario now. So 20, huh? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, well under 20. Look at this. Oh? Alright. I think I can still shave a lot of time off of that. Wow. Lars, you are here for a very special moment in the Mario Runners run because sub 20 is definitely a landmark when you're new I'm new you're new maybe I'll be there for your sub 20 who knows that was crazy <laughs> I had to like psych myself out because my last run I literally died in bits during Bowser on the third throw and I had to do it all over again which is why I ended up with like 21 minutes and something this is crazy this seemed like it took way longer than it should have for me I'm stoked I'm stoked I don't even want to get up like I'm thirsty and I want water but I don't even want to get up <laughs> I can get my Bowser tattoo? Bowser. You mean my Bowser tattoo? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I should definitely get like a Bowser key or something. That's what I was saying. Oh shit, thanks for the cheer, Lars. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I feel like I put a lot of work into this game hopefully it shows um my next move is something completely different than mario um i actually gained affiliate by playing a game called eternal it's a free-to-play card game yo thanks again for the cheer 90 cheers 100 100 cheers i don't even know what that adds up to but anything is awesome you're the number one cheer right now. Um, I gained affiliate playing this game called Eternal Card Game. It's uh, it's kind of like Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone, kind of like mixed together, sort of. And I grew up playing like Pokemon and Magic the Gathering and stuff, and I've got an affinity for card games. So uh, I think what I want to do is stream some Eternal and Magic the Gathering. I'll probably still do Mario here or there, but I'm probably going to switch gears and focus on some card games for a while because I've got about a thousand dollars worth of unopened Magic product, like in real life, that I'm trying to open up on stream and like people who do pack openings on stream get like a lot of views and stuff, so I'm hoping that that's going to work out well for me. But yeah, that's just a little bit about me, a little bit about what I want to do, what's to come. And I appreciate your company. I don't think I would have been able to get sub 20 without you being here, to be honest with you. Because I was, uh, chat was, was pretty quiet for a little bit. And all it takes is just having somebody there to see it, I guess. <laughs> This is nuts, man. Am I following you yet? Let me see.
I'm about to, if not. There you go. Give you a follow there. Check out. You ain't got no videos on your channel. Yo, thank you for the follow, Lars. Appreciate you. Follow for follow, you know. We're gonna get there. Um. Yeah, my advice is just do what's comfortable for you. I like doing tricks, so I learned all the uh, all the hard ones like Owlis and um, so a couple skips in the levels game. here or there that I probably don't need to use, but um, I don't know, man. If you just have fun with it, you know. I like really grinded this out. And sometimes you're gonna hate Mario and sometimes you're gonna ask yourself why you even play this game but you know what in the end it's all gonna work out but um if you have any questions or if you you know want to know how you do certain things like pole grab or um, if there was anything that you saw that I did that you want to learn how to do, I'm more than willing to hop in with you and kind of like break it down or send you videos, the videos that I watch to learn how to do stuff. Um, but I've always been told that, you know, learning tricks or skips will save you seconds but learning better movement will save you minutes yeah i definitely will man um now that i'm following you i get alerts on on mobile so i'll definitely hit you up thanks for being here i'm gonna go ahead and end the stream it's uh three o'clock in the morning for me so i'm gonna head on out but I appreciate you being here again. Thank you so much for the bits and for sharing this moment with me. <laughs> Take care, man. Bye.